Winner takes home $25 redos, and the loser takes home 15 It's going to be Cloud versus Baka Hentai. Should be a freaking phenomenal match. Uh, super excited. PVZ, all-ins undefeated, has been going nuts. I think he's won every single match 2-0 so far. Should be pretty awesome. Should be pretty awesome, guys. Just gonna fix one thing on my stream. Alrighty, getting in to this game in the bottom right, in the pink. Representing Team All Inspiration, it is undefeated. And up here in the top left, in the blue, representing, I think he's also All Inspiration, I just found out, is Baka Hentai. Let's switch that up. Oops. Oh, no, we need sound, we need music. All right. We go. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in to this very shitty amateur cast. I really appreciate it. Uh, your support means the world to me. I apologize for my mic being shit for that first part. But thank you all for watching. Uh, it's proxy Hatchery coming out now. Should uh, This is going to be interesting. <laughs> and Undefeated should know something's going on here. Get to see what he thinks it is. I uh, wonder if these two have a little bit of history or what. Spawning pool going down right as that at Protoss uh, probe leaves. Now we got a probe coming in. Uh, thank you, Albatross, for the follow. Appreciate it. What's up, Raven X? Welcome to the stream. And looks like gonna just be a pretty standard opener from our Protoss player. Don't think he. Uh, Definitely does not realize the threat outside his front door. Oh, and he does spot it now! Oh no! <laughs> what's what's the reaction? I'm, I'm really curious what his plan is now. And here come the drones. Uh, looking like this might be what I wanted the last game. You're gonna maybe make some spine crawlers or something cheeky like that. Really curious what they're gonna do. Spine crawler one, spine crawler two, and three. Oh shit! It's going on. What a game this is going to be. In the production tab, we got lots of Zerglings coming out. Four already. Two shield batteries at the front as well. Zealot getting corona Soccer getting corona boosted out. Excuse me. And the links have already arrived now. Two already, and now two more on the way as well. But the, the Soccer does pop out. They're able to get us around, they will be able to win the trade against that. The queen needs to go over and help him out. Oh no, the twine callers are done. This could spell doom. This is a very interesting cheese. And it looks like those slings will get cleaned up. And now we got the spine callers chipping away here at the base. Spine caller repositioning as well. Queen versus Stalker with two, uh, two shield batteries. Doesn't really work out too well for him. Uh, but the cybernetics core is under attack by the spine crawlers now. The queen is continuing to apply pressure. More and more zerglings on the way as well. And the creep is continuing to spread in here. Army spy is in favor of Baka Hentai, but against three spine crawlers, I'm not sure how much how she's going to be able to do here. If that cybernetics core goes down, he's going to be stuck with just zealots. No warp gate. Oh, and actually has an artosis pylon, uh, which will go down here and unpower absolutely everything that he has that's important. He's not going to have any shield battery. He's pulling the probes right now. Oh, man. He has a robotics facility finishing up now, but there's no power for it. Oh, man. So many workers going now. LMFAO. <laughs> Baka Hentai takes, a, takes game number one. <laughs> what a game. Man, that was a really hilarious all-in. I really like that one. You're going to see where the panic set in, and then death. <laughs> These guys don't mess around when it comes to making money. Yes, 
And right after this guy is going to be GSL, which has been pretty fucking amazing as well. Just fucking amazing night of StarCraft, guys. Thank you all so much for coming out and being part of it. Looking forward to doing some more tournaments with you guys. Maybe not in the middle of the night. And we're going straight into game number two. PVZ Cloud versus Baka Hentai. Maybe I should have told these guys that they, uh, they needed to throw us. So that way we can watch. Uh, we could all go watch GSL on time. Can't miss a single game. Funky though, these guys are playing better than Scarlet did last night. Yikes. Alrighty, down here in the bottom left in the pink. Representing all inspiration. Uh, currently was just defeated. It's undefeated. And up here in the top right in the blue. Representing also in all inspiration, I believe it is Baka Hentai. Probe being it, doing a very early scout here. Got to make sure nothing like last game is happening now. Uh, and meanwhile, Baka Hentai being a good little boy, not doing anything too cheeky. Looking like he will try and ex expand here in just a second. Uh, but this probe will be a little bit annoying. Try and stop that. Duel of the fates here. Ooh, it's a battle. Ooh, and Zerg loses. Man. Unfortunately for him, does decide just to build a spawn, spawning pool instead. Since on a full health, it's going to go uh, full health drone. Excuse me, to go rough him up, teach him a lesson or two. Ooh, a nice job getting that pylon down. Really good latest expansion and force him to take that front one by the looks. Uh, maybe he'll take this one here. Yeah, that looks like he'll go for that close one. Uh, good play by him. Oh wait, I gave the point to the wrong person. I apologize. Okay, hentai is up. One nothing. Meanwhile, standard expansion gate expand for undefeated. And we'll have to see uh, what's next for these guys. Queen on the way. No larva to make any zerglings, but I imagine they'll be following soon after. And down here for our Protoss player taking a second gas now and taking his third pylon. Uh, nothing, nothing too out of the ordinary yet for these guys. This uh, probe is still sticking around. Those two zerglings, I imagine, will put a stop to that once they pop. And they do. Here they come. Uh, but this probe does know everything that's going on. Oh, canceled that, actually. Very nicely, just before, just before he got in there. So I had no idea what he's planning. Evo Chamber going back down now. Robotics facility on the way now. Uh, you do see a lot of you see a lot of Protoss nowadays going StarCraft. I mean, it's Stargate, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully, they're playing StarCraft. Uh, but uh, uh, Cloud suggests so is a little bit more comfortable with that Robo. And then, and then got his natural, his kind of weird second base here at his third base location, keeping his Zerglings nice and safe in the middle between them. Uh, Speed gonna finish up here pretty soon, but not looking like he's gonna go for any crazy aggression or anything like that. But is going to go ahead and make his way across the map and apply a fair amount of pressure here. It's going to be uh, 13 armor supply to 6, you know, quite a bit of Zerglings here. But shouldn't get too much done, you know. I don't think uh, Undefeated has any reason to really worry here. He does have that Stalker, uh, which are the bane of uh, any, any Zerglings existence. Twilight counts all the way down for him. Is, that is going to be his second choice. I wonder if he's going to go for a uh, charge all-in. I'd really like to see that charge with the uh, warp prism uh, which we've seen so many times in GSL and stuff like that that should be pre would be pretty exciting but uh, so far no signs of what we're gonna see yet oh it looks like dropper lords getting loaded up in the main here uh, they're gonna make their way all the way across the map this could be yet interesting folks uh, oh man get right up in his belly and they're marching the Observer is going to spot all of this. And Baka Hentai will have no idea that he's been spotted. He has the one Adept up there, which is being attacked. 
uh, should die to these four uh, four z z zerglings here. Ziga Ziga zerglings, and these three drops coming in to the main here in just a couple seconds, and still no real army being made here. I don't. Did he not see it? He's only three. Okay, he's only three shield batteries, so he knows something is up. Uh, but he's Artosis Pylon again. If that pylon goes down, he loses two gates. He loses his charge research. Oh wow, he brought queens with him too. I didn't even notice that. That's huge. All right. So now he need, he needs to really focus fire these these stalkers down. He needs to focus fire that pylon down as well. Why is he picking up again? I'm really curious what he's doing here. Let's use his micro him a little bit better. And now, like, this is a fight, guys. This is a fight of the century. Worker's going down. Now here comes the warp in. So will the pylon die in time? Not quite. It will go down, though. And everything in the main base has gone unpowered. That one queen staying alive for so long. Those warp in did finish. And now here come the immortals as well. All the zerglings got cleaned up. And now it's just two queens against the world here. He's going to try and save it with that overlord. And he does. Picks them both up and should be able to get out before that talker is able to kill it. Uh, this charge is still on the way here, and we have a warp prism on the way as well. And more zerglings have arrived to the front of the base now. Uh, I expect him to try and keep up the pressure here. Maybe re he could reload up and head back into the main with once he gets a critical mass here. But so far, not choosing to do so. Just uh, kind of let him get poked around by that stalker, letting him think he's a big dude and all that. Which you know, I have I have respect for that. I have respect for letting your letting your opponent think they know what's going on. Um, I oh, and looks like he's gonna go for a charge on Archon Immortal. Um, throwing a few uh, sentries, and you got yourself a soul train going on. That'd be pretty fun. Uh, I'm excited. I'm curious, honestly, more than anything, of where Bakhenton's gonna go with this. Baneling Nest on the way, which will be very good against those charged zealots if he can get the connections that he wants. But against Archons, they might all just pop before they even get there. He needs. Oops, sorry. Took away the production, which now I can't bring back. Oh, I switched to. Haha, uh -huh. and then it's. What is it? Is that? No, no. I fucked it all up, guys. No, no, no. Almost. Alright, well, I'm gonna try to do it. The production's in the bottom right now. Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, it's just looking like nothing really too much is going on here. We got plus one melee attack on the way. And Archons are now finally being formed for our Protoss player. Not sure where he formed those at, actually. Oh, actually, he warped them all up here. But meanwhile, these Zerglings have arrived at the main. What's the play going to be? You know, sieging this front of the base, this gateway will go down first. And now here come the Charged Zealots and the Archons going to take down this, these Queens. Uh, these guys are very vulnerable right now, and actually all three of them are going to go down. And the Zerglings are being forced to come back across the map, and the Archons are just running rampant. They kill that they kill that middle line and force them away. 14 Zerglings in reduction now. I'm not sure how well Zerglings is going to trade against this army. He needs to get some Veilings in there. Oh, catching those Zealots is huge, though. It like, takes away the buffer for those Archons and will allow them to uh, be a little bit easier to kill. But, you know, five more get warped in right afterwards. You know, what can... It's a really tough position for Baka Hentai here. These Banelings have to get really good connections on the Zealots. If they don't, then you know the Archons are just going to shred these these Zerglings, and it's just not going to be enough. All right, the Queen going out as bait. Oh, very good hits. Not quite enough to finish them all off with the Zerglings. Actually, it's not it's not good enough. Very close. GG. It's going to be 1-1. One, one. We're going to go into game number three here in this grand finals. Man, he had really good hits. It just wasn't quite enough. Very, very well played there by Cloud. Did a very nice all-in there. Not even all-in. It was more just a transition from from what, what he was given, I think. I'm not sh didn't strike me as something that he planned from the start. All right, and then we're going to go on the last map, Blackwater LE. Should be pretty hype.
Alrighty, gonna go into game number three here. The final map of our grand finals. Cloud versus Baka Hentai should be fucking phenomenal. Let's get into it. PVZ on backwater. Thank you all so much again for coming out, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you for playing in the tournament if you did. And I look forward to having some more tournaments with you guys. Uh, spawning up here in the top left in the pink. Representing team all inspiration. It is undefeated. And down here in the bottom right, I think also representing team all inspiration. Uh, his name. Game paused. All right, his name will wait. XD. Very important. Very important phone call going on. You know. All right, so then bottom, down here in the bottom right, in the blue, representing Team Monstration as well, it is Baka Hentai. So yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy going on. No proxy hatcheries this game. Nothing like that. Might as well see a hatch first here. Or he'll try. Uh, looks like he's just going to go straight for that base. Uh, he knows. He knows that undefeated is not going to allow that to happen. Not on his watch. Then undefeated taking his gas as well. Yeah, now these guys looking to do anything too risky here. Does block that expansion with a pylon. And heads, heads his uh, little probe up into the main. Just to get a, get a good read on what's going on here. Baka Hentai, you know, just moving his overlords across the map. Nothing too crazy. This probe will get chased around for a bit, just being a little bit of a nuisance. And meanwhile, Undefeated will take an uh, expansion of his own. And probably take a second gas here in just a couple seconds. Um, maybe after he gets the Cybernetic score, I'd imagine. This probe has now visually confirmed that there is in fact an expansion up here, and the probe uh, the dr probe loses the Fight Club of the Century up there, uh, and is slain. Rest in peace. So, uh, Zergling speed is now on the way, and the expansion is now up for Baka Hentai. Uh, about halfway done here for our Protoss player. So, uh, two queens going to come out here for the Zerg, and we should have a little bit of window. The Zerg could be a little bit aggressive here before this wall is finished. Uh, but I think by the time he gets down there, it will already be done. So probably going to add a gate here, or the Robo. That also gets does the trick. And after that, he's going to make his way down. Adept on the way. And yeah. I'm actually really liking the way that uh, Undefeated is playing this matchup, getting the Robo facility, um, using the um, Observer for Vision, and then allows him to get that Warp Prism out. Pardon me. Uh, get that Warp Prism out and then apply pressure across the map wherever he likes. Adept getting chased down by four Zerglings. Zerglings decide, screw that. And now things are just going to stabilize just a little bit here. And the Twilight Council coming down here again. I can't imagine we'll see something other than uh, some some variation of a charge lot um, charge lot all in. Uh, two probes going down there. You know, pretty pretty good trade there for just four zerglings. Might actually get three. Does well done for him. Worked out for him after all. Observer is finally out, and I imagine a warp prism will come next once he. Uh, Gets a couple more gates up. And yeah, finally adding on those gates. And yeah, from here, as, as Protoss, you're just trying to get as much information as you can, I think. Because uh, you, you don't want to be caught off guard by whatever it is that Baka and Dai is trying to do. Uh, and it looks like he is going for something very similar that he did last game. Getting that Bane Nest to deal with those Charge Lot Archon, or Charge Lot. Um, charge lots, I guess. I guess it's out of plural for him. And, 
yeah, you know, so I think I think we're gonna be see a very similar match to last game. I doubt that. Um, I'm not sure that he'll go uh, Archon with it in this situation. Um, at least at, at least immediately. I I predict probably at least a few more mortals than we saw last game. And actually, he looks like he is. Looks like he got a pretty good read of the situation with this observer. So um, he knows that the composition is going to be primarily Link Bane focused, and actually sees the amount of Bane's warp he get too, which is very good for him. And his warp prism's already across the map. Gonna warp in some Archons, I'd imagine, as soon as he's able. Looks uh, so like he needs for one right now. I imagine he'll save a bit more to get three, or get two at least. Yeah, needs a little bit more gas to get that fourth one out, the fourth uh, High Templar, in order to form those two Archons. Uh, but for now, you know, this is a pretty pretty uh, respectable force. Uh, so 21 armor supply to 16, and most of that is in Zerglings and Banelings. Uh, this man if these Banelings get good hits, it'll be really rough, but they could also all over-detonate on these Zealots. Which looks like what happened there, all but one detonating on those, actually, which is not what you want. Uh, but now this Archon's getting a little bit chased down, and that Queen actually dies! Wow! And now all these gateways are done, and here comes the second wave, and there's no that Queen is lost. See, now this is where it gets scary for, for Bakahentai. He has to deal with it somehow. And another Archon is going to form here any second, I'm sure, as soon as he warps it in. And actually, a little bit of a missed record here, he loses that Archon for nothing. That's disastrous. I don't think it'll make a difference, just, uh... Based on composition, especially if he pushes right now and uh, abuses this lack of main links. And that's actually really cute, pushing it along. And, oh, the main links do spawn and they do pop all in the faces of these uh, poor sweaty zealots. And now more zealots getting warped in here and coming across, but it's not quite enough. 52 armies fly to 96. Uh, not looking great here for our, for our Protoss and Pink. As now the roaches have reached critical mass where they can deal with this push effectively. And I'd imagine they're looking to come home or go go to uh go to Unfeated's house and you know knock on his door, you know, ask him you know, ask him a couple questions and then kill him. You know, as is the way in the the wild unbroken untamed diamond leagues. Archons are done. Looks like he's going for some cheeky Archon drops. I like it. I like it. And both the Archons, of course, aggro on the Queen. Because why wouldn't you? That'd be dumb. And now the Archons are trading just very lightly with these uh, Zerglings here. You know, a little bit of damage, but they will just get picked up and head on home. Zerglings on their way across the map now. Going to try and apply some pressure here to Undefeated. And now I'm just going to apply some pressure at the front here. That Immortal and those Zealots is going to pretty easily put a stop to that. And, you know, more and more Immortals getting made here as uh, Undefeated kind of realizes how roach heavy uh, Bakantai's comp is going to be. This one Zealot just being a real prick. And looks like he also has no brain. Yeah, now, you know, more Zealots getting warped in here back at home. Another uh, mortal. We have this third base here for the undefeated that I somehow missed. I apologize. And, yeah, double forward coming down now. Going to probably get getting plus one, plus one. And, oh, the observer finally dies. Or not, actually. Nope, there it is. See, I double jinxed it. 18 Hydralists are now on the way here. Uh, this is a very, very fast switch into those. And with the Lurker Den already on the way as well, pretty hard to predict here for Undefeated. Yeah, it's really difficult for him to pre predict that this is happening. Uh, he, I don't think that he has the Zealot or the Archon count. 
I don't think it's the count the enough of any army unit, honestly, in order to deal effectively with this army. I think that he's just going to get steamrolled by the uh, tank tankiness of the roaches in the front, and the hydras are just going to be dishing out cheer DPS for the entire time. Losing those links is he is really good for unde undefeated catching those. Um, so now he's going to push up here. It's uh, 87 army supply to 64. And it's going to be a pretty rough fight here for Baka Hentai. He's going to have to get a really good engage, and that's not it. Pushing into that concave, not what you want. And that Archon is forming. He's trying to buy just a little bit more time. These mortals are doing what they can. Archon's getting body blocked a little bit on each other. And now they're all fighting on the front lines here. Uh, nice micro attempt from Undefeated there. He's trying to save what he can, save the lives. And actually, he shreds that army. Uh, still 50 army supply to 32, but the better the better tech of the, of the Protoss army allowed them to win that fight. Very well done. That was even with 1-1 one, one, uh, melee range being a research for these roaches. So very impressive stuff by, by them. And now these zealots coming home, coming home for the prom queen. They know what they want. They want, they want to kill. And they're certainly not going to be able to do that very easily. Storm is now on the way. Looks like we're going to be transitioning into a little bit later of a game here. I really am tired, man. It's rough. I apologize for yawning. Did not expect this to go a full 3 hours 19 minutes so far. Thank you all for sticking with it. Um, appreciate it. Um, yeah, so like right now, plus two, uh, plus two arm uh, weapons on the way, and now pushing across the map is Baka Hentai. Does have lurkers, and this will be a very big advantage against the Zealot heavy army here. If he can get a good storm, uh, it might be able to turn the tide and shred those, uh, shred those squishier hydras. But at this point, he has more ro roaches and does hydras, and he has how many lurkers? Five. Yeah. So pretty good, pretty good counts here. Um, looks like he backed off for some reason. I'm not sure what he saw, unless it was that, unless it was that warp prism. Yeah, that might be why he backed off. Um, looks like he's moving his entire army back home. To deal with that. Looks like he realized his mistake halfway through. Maybe he's just as tired as I am. Yeah. So, what's uh? Curious to see what Bog Hentai's next play is, because uh, I feel like he, I feel like he has the army he needs in order to defeat, uh, to pretty much just win the game right now. The longer he waits, the better the upgrades are gonna get. He might be able to start actually getting Colossi out. And if he gets Colossi out behind the, the Zealot Archon, you know it's gonna be pretty hard to freaking kill. Lurkers are gonna spread out and burrow now. And if you can fight him in this choke, it'll be very good for these Zerkers. Very, very good for the Zerkers, but even better for the Storms. Wow. That was brutal. Ooh, and more and more Storms coming down now. Lots of Hydralis dying. And they're getting chased down now with a lot of Dark Templars getting warped in here. This is very cheeky. I like it. Chasing down this army now off creep. What are they going to do? Oh, and actually this army stops. That's not what you want. <laughs> Keep going. And warping in the main now. A lot of Dark Templar. Killing the Hydralis in, actually. That could be huge. This is massive plays now. And he's trading with these Hydralis, killing even more. And now he's fighting the main force here. Storm's right on top of him. And he has the army to just push through. Oh, loses that War Prism. That's not great. Needs another one. ASAP. And now he's getting nice storms off. The Dark Templar's doing work. Lack of detection really coming back to bite our Zerg player now. 14 armies fight a 48. Looking like... It. Go, he's going for the W undefeated, making sure that the one win, the one loss he gets won't be in vain. Looking to close this game out here pretty soon. Uh, 16 more roaches on the way here. If they can get a good fight, they might be able to do something. But fighting against this many mortals and archons already is pretty tough. Uh, the roaches trying to hide in a bush, I guess. I guess they'll try and catch this one immortal who went the wrong way home. Good win there. And now Colossi is starting to get made here two at a time. Uh, that behind some uh, Zealots is pretty much what you need to kill this comp. 
Especially throw some storms in there. I don't see a way that uh, you know, I don't see a way Bakhenta wins a straight up engagement with his current composition. If you get some brood lords, he might be able to do something, or even vipers to blind the colossi. That might that could be pretty sick as well. But currently, he doesn't even have a spire. Uh, he's still working on it. So uh, until then, he's limited with his options. And I'm not gonna lie, it's uh, pretty fr pretty freaking hard to kill uh, kill colossi with just roaches. Pretty hard. Alright, here comes the push, I think. I hope. 86 workers to 60. He has almost double the income. He has 40 more army supply. He has a better army comp. They're morphing a great spire right now. If there was a time to attack for undefeated, it would be now. Um... You know, this is as good a time as ever. You you already damaged the economy. He's now trying to rebuild the economy, rebuild his tech uh, that he couldn't afford earlier, and then now it's more expensive. Just a really really tough tough situation to be in for Baka and Tai. All right, the Colossi side doing so much damage to this army here. Storm coming down as well. It's a massacre here. The, the front line of this army moves moving forward. GG, undefeated, takes the series and takes the finals. GG, well played.